So let's just quickly start off by checking whether Perl is installed on our computer. To do this we need to open a command prompt. You can normally find this in the accessories area. Or if you prefer you can just search for cmd.exe which is the program for the command prompt. This opens the command prompt window and we can type Perl space minus V and press the enter key. This will tell us whether Perl is installed on our computer. And this message tells us that Perl is not installed. So let's go into the internet and download Perl. I'm going to download Strawberry Pearl, but you could download uh, a version from Active State if you preferred. If you've got a 32 bit version of Windows, download the 32 bit software. If you've got a 64 bit version of Windows, download the 64 bit. If you're unsure which version you have, download the 32 bit version because that will run on Windows 64-bit and Windows 32-bit. So now that the file is downloaded I can click on it to start the installation process. As with many Windows applications the installation process is very straightforward. It's mainly a case of clicking on the next key and accepting the defaults. By default the software will be installed in the strawberry folder or directory so unless you have any good reason for not installing it there you may as well just accept that default as well. Depending on the speed of your computer the installation process can take anything from 20 or 30 seconds probably through to 2 or 3 minutes but it's not a long installation process. Okay so that's the end of the installation process. So let's run our Perl space minus V command again to see if Perl is now installed. And now we can see that Perl is installed. We can see the version, some copyright information, and some information about the documentation. So we're now ready to start running Perl scripts. Thank you for watching this video.